Hello everyone, today we are going to do the estimation of the road and for this firstly we need to understand about the cutting and the filling of the road. So this is our cross section of the cut. So we have our ground level in this portion whereas we have this formation level in this portion. So if the ground level is at higher level than that of this formation level then it is called the cut and here we can see that this is the road and this is the width of the road whereas this portion is the depth of this cutting whereas this is the cross section of the banking that is this is our ground level portion and this is our formation level so we can clearly see that our formation level is at higher level than that of this ground level so this is obviously banking portion and we have this roadway width from this point up to this point and on these sides we usually do turfing and on this side also to give the protection to the slope. So firstly we need to understand how to calculate the total area of this banking portion. So we can see that we have this rectangle in our central portion and in this both sides we can see there is a triangular portion. And we have this side slope of S is to 1 for this banking and here also we have S is to 1. So this is the depth of this banking and we have this width of this road B whereas we have this portion SD that is this side slope into this depth. So I can write that this cross section area of the banking equals to area of the central portion and area of these two side portions where we have this area of this rectangle B into D. So we can write this as B into D. Whereas we have this area of the triangle 1 by 2 into base into height in which our base is ST and our height is D. So we can easily write this number of this triangle 2 and this area equals to 1 by 2 base means ST and the height is D. So we get BD plus ST square and we can see that this is the cross section of the cutting and here we can see that this is the width of this road having the depth of the cutting D and having the side slope of this cut as s is to 1 so we can clearly write that this small portion will be s into d here also s into d means this portion so we can write that the total area of this portion will be area of this central portion plus area of these two sides so this area of this central means the area of the rectangle that is b into d so here bd and we have two number of this triangle so 2 into and the area of triangle equals to 1 by 2 into base into height where our base is st so here st and our height is d so we get this total cross section of this cut equals to bd plus st square so today we are going to do the estimation of this road and we are going to calculate the total quantity of this earthwork for a portion of the proposed road from the following data and here we have given that this formation width that is b equals to 10 meter and side slope for banking is 2 is to 1 and side slope for cutting equals to 1 is to 1 so firstly we have this formation level at a distance of 60 meter is 1197.5 meter so firstly let's make this table and let's put the value of this formation level at a distance of 60 meter that is 1197.5 meter and we have given that from the distance of 0 to 30 there is a downward grade of 1 in 120 whereas from the distance of 30 to 90 meter there is a level ground it means that from this 30 to 90 meter there should be same formation level because there is no any upward grade nor downward grade it means that this value will be same in this side as well as in this side so i can easily write that our formation level in 30 meter distance is same as the 60 meter that is 1197.5 meter and here also same 1197.5 meter but now we can clearly see that from this 0 to 30 meter there is a downward gradient so since it is a downward grade it means that the RL of this portion should be higher than RL of this 30 meter distance so firstly we need to calculate this total value of this downward grade of 1 in 120 downward grade of 1 in 120 means 120 meter slope equals to 1 meter and we have this distance of 30 meter interval here also 60 minus 30 equals to 30 meter so we are going to calculate the downward grade for 30 meter slope that is 1 
by 120 into 30. So we get the downward grade of 0.25 meter. So it means that the RL of formation level at the stance of 0 is 1197.5 plus 0.25 meter. So I can write 1197.5 plus 0.25 meter. So here we can clearly see that in this portion there is a downward grade because this point is at higher level than this point. Now we have this upward gradient of 1 in 90 from the distance of 90 to 120. That is in this portion there is an upward gradient. So we have this 90 meter slope for 1 meter. To calculate the slope of this 30 meter interval we have 30 meter slope equals to 1 by 90 into this 30 meter so we get 0.33 meter upward grade the total RL of formation level at 120 meter equals to the RL of this previous point that is 1197.5 upward means plus and we have to add 0.33 so we get 1197.83 now we have to plot the graph between this distance and our RL of this formation level and the RL of this ground level. So we can clearly see that this side is our RL of the formation level and we have this portion as our downward grade up to the distance of 30 so it is decreasing whereas up to the distance of 90 there is a straight line that is our leveled portion and from the distance of 90 to 120 there is a upward grade so this portion is our formation level and here we also need to plot this rl of the ground level and this distance so we get this line so we can see that here this is our ground level and this is our formation level so if the ground level is at higher depth than that of this formation level then there is a cut whereas in this portion there is a formation level higher than that of the ground level so it means that there is a banking portion here also banking whereas this portion is a cutting portion and here also we have cut so let's calculate the depth so to calculate the depth we can simply write depth equals to rl of the formation level minus rl of the ground level and if it comes in negative then there is obviously the cut and if it comes in positive then there is a fill so here we can write the depth equals to RL of formation level minus RL of ground level. So here we have this formation level as 1197.75 and minus ground level is 1198.65. So we get minus 0 0.9 that is our cut. And here also we have 1197.5 minus 1196.4 that is 1.1 meter and here also same process 1197.5 minus 1199.3 that is minus 1.8 and here we have this RL of formation level 1197.5 minus ground level is 1200.4 so we get minus 2.9 and here lastly we have this 1197.83 minus 1198.1 that is minus 0.27 here we can clearly see that this portion is negative that is cut and this is fill and between these two portions there is zero that is neither cut nor fill so firstly we need to calculate the length at which there is no cut and fill so this is our zero meter chain is and this is our 30 meter chain is and we are going to find the distance at which our depth will be zero between these two so this level is our formation level whereas this level is our ground level. So here at a distance of 0 meter we have this formation level of 1197.75 and here at a chain is of 30 meter we have this formation level of 1197.5. So we have this depth of 0 0.9 meter and we have this depth of 1.1 meter and we have this total length of 30 meter. This portion will be x and this portion will be total is 30 and this is x so 30 minus x. So let's calculate the value of x. So we can write x divided by vertical distance is 0.9 equals to here the horizontal length is 30 minus x and its vertical height is 1.1. So by solving this equation we get the value of x as 13.5 meter. So it means that this value of x is 13.5 meter. So this value will be obviously 30 minus 13.5 that will be 16.5 meter and here also we can see that this portion is our fill portion and this portion is cut. So between these two value there is 
a portion where there is no any cot and fills. So we need to calculate the distance at which our depth is zero. So for this we need to again make a graph of these two. So we have this chain is of 30 meter and this is a chain is of 60 meter. So it means that this total length is 30 meter and we are assuming that this length is x. So this is 30 minus x and we have this as formation level and we have the formation level of both these chain is 1197.5 so it lies in a straight line and we have this as our ground level and we have the depth of this chain is 30 meter is 1.1 meter and we have the depth of this chain is 60 meter as 1.8 meter now we need to calculate the value of x so we are going to do for similar triangle that is for the horizontal length of x we have the total vertical height of 1.1 meter Whereas in this triangle, we have the horizontal length of 30 minus x and divided by we have the vertical length of 1.8 meter. So by solving this equation, we get the value of x as 11.38 meter. So it means that this length will be 11.38 whereas this length will be 30 minus 11.38 that is 18.62 meter. So we have already known that in this two point there lies zero. So I'll write here zero. And here also we have zero that is there is no any cot and fill so here we have calculated the total length at which we get this depth as zero that is 13.5 meter so here i can write 13.5 meter and here also we have already calculated the distance at which we get our depth zero that is 11.38 but here we can see that we have to add this chain is of 30 meter so that we will get the total chain is at this point that is we get 30 plus 11.38 that is 41.38 so at the chain is of 41.38 we get depth of zero now our next step is to calculate the total area so we have already calculated that total area of cutting and banking is same that is bd plus st square so i can write that the total area equals to bd plus st square and we have this value of the b that is the formation width equals to 10 meter so i'll write a column for formation width that is 10 meter for all these and we have the side slope for cutting as 1 and we have this as filling so we have the side slope of filling as 2 and here also it is negative so we can write this 2 so we have this portion as negative that is cutting so we have this side slope 1 here also cutting so 1 and here also 1 and in this portion there is no any cut and fill so you can write either 1 or 2 but the area will be 0 so i'll write simply 1 so now we have to calculate the total area so i'll write this b equals to 10 our d is minus but we have to put it as positive so plus we have the side slope of 1 and into we have the depth of 0 0.9 square so we get 9.81 and here also we have our b as 10 d is 0 so we get this total area 0 and here also we have this b as 10 depth is 1.1 side slope is 2 depth is 1.1 square so we get 13.42 and here we have this depth 0 that means the area will also be 0 and here we have this b 10 depth is 1.8 side slope is 1 and value of d is 1.8 square so we get 21.24 and here also same process b is 10 d is 2.9 s is 1 d squared is 2.9 square so we get 37.41 and here also same process b is 10 d is 0.27 s is 1 d is 0.27 square now we are going to calculate the average area of these two that is the average of these two area is written here and the average of these two area is written here and similarly the average of these two is written here this two is written here this two is written here and this two is written here the average of this two is written here so here it remains blank and the average of 9.81 plus 0 equals to 4.91 so here we need to do the average of 0 and 13.42 so we get 6.71 and here also we need to do the average of 13.42 and 0 that is 6.71 here we need to take the average of 0 and 21.24 so we get 10.42 and here we need to take the average of 21.24 and 37.41 by 2 that is 29.33 and here 
average of 37.41 plus 2.77 by 2 that is 20.09 and when we multiply this area by its length then we will get its quantity so this length will be the difference of these two changes that is here we get 13.5 30 minus 13.5 that is 16.5 and here also 41.38 minus 30 we get 11.38 and here also we get 60 minus 41.38 that is 18.62 and here 90 minus 60 that is 30 and here also 120 minus 90 that is 30. Now we need to calculate the total quantity of cut and fill so for this we need to multiply the area by its length and here we have this portion negative that is we will get the volume of cutting so we get mean area into this length as volume of cutting whereas this portion is positive so we can write that this mean area into this length will be our filling that is this length into this will be quantity for filling and here also we get this area into this length as filling and below this there is all negative portion that is these are the quantity for cutting so we can write that its mean area into length will be the quantity for cutting here also we get this area that is 29.33 into 30 as 879 and again here also 20.09 into 30 as 602.7 in this way we have calculated the total cut and fill and when we add all these we get the total quantity for cut and when we add this portion then we will get the total quantity for filling in this way we have completed the estimation for the road by calculating the total quantity for cutting and filling so if you like my video please like share and subscribe